Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tiavi Pipe Train. Sorry for the delay, but I'm very busy right now. So I'm gonna show you how to create an electrical product and to create bundles and stuff like that. So let's start with creating a new product. So let's go to new product and let's call it harness three. Okay, after that, let's suppose we have already all our electrical parts already open it in Katia, like the switch with the electrical connections. So I'm going to copy this one to my product. This is one way to use the copy paste. So let me copy all the, all the parts. Copy this one too. Okay, I'm gonna do it with this this three. Well, uh, this four. Okay. I know I already have the switch. Give me your GPS. With this this four. So one way to move the parts is you go to the compass, right click, it's not automatically and select on the tree for example switch and you can move it selecting these lines or if you want to move the angles or in free so let's put this switch or less let's put it here now i'm going to move this one I'm going to put it here I want to move cylinder I want the cylinder here let's put the Garmin GPS over here like this so I'm going to create a bundle from here to here from here to here and from here to here so let's go to the electrical workbench. Go to start equipment and systems, electrical harness discipline, and electrical harness assemble. This one. So here we want to have these two toolbars, the very important toolbars. The first thing we need to do is to create a electrical product. So let's create. Let's click on the geometrical bundle command and let's select the, the top of the product in this case harness tree yeah. as you can see here the icon have been changed and the name to, to change the name just right click product pro properties I mean and change the part number for example, to harness harness tree now we have our name back okay to start creating a bundle, we you need to select this icon, multi-branchable document or bundle segment. I like to use multi-branchable. So let's select it and it's going to tell us a warning. Let's press OK. Now we have the branchable definition. Here we're going to put the diameter of the bundle, the bend radius, uh, slack, length, bend, strain. And to create the bundle, just select root definition. And let's say we're going to start from, from here, from this face to the German GPS and now we have a bundle or first bundle just press OK here you can change the slack just press apply to see how does it affect 
Express, for example, OK. If you want to change the name, right-click, properties, multiple punchable. And now let's go to create another bundle. So let's exit the workbench and create again another bundle. I want to create a bundle from here to here. You can change the direction with this arrow. So you just press OK. But I want this one to be 20 millimeters. Press OK. And now you can see how does it change to 20. And I need another one from here to here. So one way to do this is again with the branch definition, root definition, select here and here. Oh, sorry. And now we have all our harness ready. But for example, I don't want this happen. I want to have a, a break point here. So I'm going to delete this one. Well, let me hide it better. I'm going to create a branch point from this bundle from here to here. So one way to do it is just double click here, the bundle. And now let's go to bundle segment definition. Here you can see here we have only one segment. So we're going to create another segment. So let's click on add a branch point. Select the bundle and select the break. For example, I want to break here. And press OK. And now we have two, two segments that you can see. For example, I want this segment to be 50 millimeters. In this one, 10 millimeters. Now let's put better this one, 20. So press OK. And now I'm going to create another bundle segment definition. Uh, sorry another root definition. Just press OK and exit. Create another multi-branchable root definition from here to here. And now we have two bundles from the same breakpoint. So let's put this one 10 millimeters. As you can see, now it looks better. So I hope you understand this. And if you have questions, you send me an email. If you need the electrical parts, send me an email and I can send it to you. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.